Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made secret trip to L.A. to visit her mum Doria in modest bungalow Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were spotted during the hush-hush trip by surprised neighbors ahead of the birth of their first child The couple were spotted during the hush-hush trip by surprised neighbors. Speaking from her house a few doors down from Doria's quirky, green-painted home in L.A. this week, one said, Meghan is a mommy's girl their special mother-daughter bond hasn't disappeared just because she's moved to England. Megan will always come back to Doria, this will always be her home. They are forever in touch and Megan has been here to stay on more than one occasion since going public with Harry. I even saw him here once, but it's not my place to say anymore. While the dates of their stay aren't known, royal experts believe it is likely to have been a cost-effective stop-off during the return leg of their trip down under in early November, rather than a taxpayer-funded jaunt from London. And it is not the first time the Duchess of Sussex has made secret trips to L.A., the Sun on Sunday can reveal. David and Victoria Beckham lent the former actress their £25 million Beverly Hills mansion as a hideout after news broke of her relationship with Harry, 34. Details of the couple's wistless after rips come as doting grandma to be Doria, 62, gets ready to join them in Britain. Unlike ex-husband Thomas Marco, Doria has remained out of the limelight since her elegant appearance at the royal wedding last May. While Meghan continues to enjoy all the trappings of fame as seen by her recent £350,000 baby shower in New York her mother enjoys a far more modest lifestyle. Her two-bed bungalow in the aptly named Windsor Hills district bought for £180,000 in 1994 has a 10 feet by 15 feet cactus-covered front garden. The muddy, gravel-littered porch is dotted with small plastic signs declaring trespassers will be prosecuted, the only indication as to her recently elevated status. As Meghan, 37, travels in luxury, chauffeur-driven limousines, her mum drives a modest Honda CRV. While Daria employs a handyman a longtime family friend who has known Meghan since she was six to help out, she does all other chores herself. Her nearest store is Dollar Tree, a thrift store equivalent to Britain's Poundland. A cannabis dispensary legal in L.A. is within walking distance and offers various types of wheat, as well as hash brownies and chocolates. Doria's Bungalow, a 45-minute drive from posh shopping landmark Rodeo Drive, sits on a busy main road near a McDonald's drive through So determined is Doria to stay grounded. Friends claim she has shunned offers of financial help from her millionaire daughter. One added, Daria could live in a Hollywood Hills mansion behind huge walls if she wished. But she doesn't. She has chosen to stay in the street she's lived on for the past 25 years, where all her friends are and where her community is. She is incredibly popular around here and everyone is fiercely protective over her. Megan said she can move somewhere more fancy but she has no interest. Doria is a kind, humble lady. She wants a simple life. Both mother and daughter share a love of exercise. When Doria isn't walking her two dogs, she can be found practicing yoga. She also regularly teaches yoga at her local community center. According to another source, last year the former makeup artist completed training to be a doula or birthing companion and received a certificate as a qualification. Last month The Sun on Sunday revealed Meghan wanted a doula by her side when she goes into labor, probably next month. In the 2017 interview, Meghan described Doria as her closest confidant and spoke fondly about her quirky nature. She said, she's got dreadlocks and a nose ring, she just ran the LA Marathon. We can just have so much fun together and yet I'll still find so much solace in her support. That duality coexists the same way it would in a best friend. Although Meghan has embraced royal life, she will never forget her Californian roots. On her secret time at the Beckhams' house in 2016, during the early stages of her romance with Harry, a source said, David has known the prince through their charity works for some years and they've become good mates. When David found out about Meghan, he immediately offered the couple the use of his home, which Meghan happily took up. It was the perfect bolt hole. 
as the Beckham sprawling house which they sold last year was just a 40-minute drive from Doria's home. Megan is understood to have also seen her mum during this period. It is not surprising, then, that the Beckhams proudly attended the couple's wedding in Windsor last May. And, of course, Doria was the only member of Megan's family to be invited to the event after Thomas had to pull out with a heart scare she is expected to stay with the couple when they move into Frogmore Cottage in Windsor from their current Kensington Palace residence. Although Daria was originally due to arrive nearer the birth date, she is now expected at the end of this month, a couple of weeks early. And she is said to be furious about her estranged ex's latest outburst, in which he revealed a heartfelt, private letter from Meghan. It is the latest embarrassing outpouring from Thomas, 74, who is repeatedly claimed to have been shunned by the royal family and his daughter. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.